So in this video, we're doing a full vlog tour of downtown Huntington Beach. Yeah, downtown on Huntington Beach and some of the neighborhoods around it. We're gonna be hitting the piers. We're gonna be seeing like- the, the pier. The pier, <laughs> singular. <laughs> He's thinking of Newport that has yeah. two piers. But Huntington has a pier and a very nice pier. <laughs> and so we're going to hit the pier, some housing, like that's how, some really nice houses that are actually in downtown Huntington Beach. Some really cool, almost suburbia type housing that's right next to downtown Huntington Beach. Main Street. Yeah, Main Street, uh, Pacific City. And so, yeah, we're going to be checking out all this area. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? I'm Sean Dezod. And I'm Courtney Dezod. And we're with the California Homes Group right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now we get so many calls from people looking to either buy or sell a home in Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving to, moving from, or moving within Orange County, either give us a call shoot us text or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So here we are, like we're actually right across PCH from Pacific City. And what you can see behind us is the Huntington Pier and it's just a stone's throw away. Well, it's not quite a stone's throw. I... <laughs> oh, I, oh, I could throw a football over that pier. <laughs> How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? I'm sure you could. <laughs> uh, and, and PCH is Pacific Coast Highway. Yes. And then Pacific City, it's kind of like, uh, it has a lot of restaurants and a few shops and... Uh, yeah, really known for the well, we, restaurants in particular, yeah, but it does walk, have actually, so it does have, um, what we do like about Pacific City is that it has some big box stores too, like it does have the H&M, has Sephora, not that I really go to Sephora, but you know, I hear that people like to go there. Yeah, and or then, me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but I, actually it's a nice, it's, it is a nice draw and as a pro tip, Actually, why don't you tell them about the next yeah, boat trip so here? Yeah, so you can actually park there during the Huntington Beach Marathon, and then you know if you can't walk, uh, somebody can just bring you over there, and then you can drive home. So there you go. <laughs> Ooh, there's a big bus. Yeah. So they have some public transportation here as well. Apparently, apparently. Real time. Oh, and let's see. Can you see? Because whenever we go to Sean's sister's house, you can see all of the the container ships. <laughs> because obviously there's- Oh, there are some. Yeah, there's massive, massive problems as we all know. With... At present time, hopefully <laughs> at some point, this backlog gets alleviated, but yeah. at the moment- You can see them all the way from the port of Long Beach and the port of LA, all the way down into Huntington Beach. So. Yeah, and I think that was like a line of like about 100 container ships, I mm -hmm. believe, so yeah. it's pretty crazy. But yeah, Pacific Beach, nice draw, great restaurants. Really like this place here. And, and as you can see, obviously Pacific Coast Highway is quite quite busy people often use it as you know it's kind of like a freeway yes and also another thing is is that people ask us okay we want to avoid the touristy spots okay avoid here because yeah. this is super touristy yeah. like this pch stretch here yeah. especially like near the pier and main main street lots and lots of tourists it gets backed up yeah. but again it's really fun but again if you don't want the tourist stuff yeah. Stay away from here. Yeah, for sure. But PCH is one of the reasons people like living in the beach cities because instead of going on the freeways, you can get around through PCH. So True. So we're walking down Main Street right now and now talk about touristy spots. <laughs> this is hugely yeah, but touristy. Still, still locals go here yeah, all the time. Totally. But and also like actually what's interesting about Main Street is that it's like like a lot of Main Streets actually. It's been converted into a lot of outdoor, outdoor dining yeah. because obviously of things that are going on. Mm -hmm. So um, kind of half the street is this outdoor dining where there's no actual cars going through Main Street. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other half that basically then you have like your normal shops. Mm -hmm. But tons of dining. You have Jack's Surf Shop, Surf Shop, which is a huge, like one of the biggest surf shops in the world basically. And yeah, it's, it's just really fun. And also what's nice about it, it's, it's off of Main and PCH. So you're right next to where all just like it's very easy to get to and the pier is actually right across the PCH yeah, too. Yeah, we'll walk to the pier and also it just smells very good because Sean and I are doing mm. a fast right now. Oh, yeah. So food. The, the smell of food is very, mm. very nice. I smell bread. <laughs> so here we are where PCH meets Main Street and what you have here is you got Main Street with all the shops on one side and then you have the pier 
on the other side and you got again the beaches and all that stuff and you have two huge surf shops you have yeah. jack surf shop here and you have Heinchen surf and sport here it's that they have two massive surf shops where people may or may not be surfing yeah they may or may not be surfing at surf city usa it's a mystery <laughs> so now we're actually on the pier itself so west coasters we didn't just even travel west we went you know what it doesn't end. We will build a pier and we'll go farther west. <laughs> yes, and then at the end of the pier, um, if you've ever seen, you know, any pictures of Huntington Beach, they always have, you know, the picture of what used to be Ruby's Diner, a cute little building. 50s era kind yeah. of like bur burger joint, basically. Yeah, with a, with a cute little red building or uh, roof. However, I don't know what they're going to make it into now. Yeah, so it's not. It's no longer. Rest in peace, Rubies. Yeah, and then actually, if you turn around, so this is one of the few structures that is actually on the beach. That's one thing about Huntington Beach is that there's not a ton of uh, there's not a ton of structures actually on like the other side of Pacific Coast Highway. It's, it's mm -hmm. Pacific Coast Highway, and then basically beach. Um, another structure actually is Duke's, which is actually a really nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's actually over here. If we turn a little bit more again. So they are right behind us and good food. Um, again, great scenery. You're right, you're right on the boardwalk, right across from the beach. And again, the beaches here in Huntington are oh, yeah. crazy. They're so big, right? Just... I mean, yeah, it's just so wide. I mean, there's a good, what, quarter mile or, I mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, I not quite a quarter mile, but it's <laughs> wide. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. a long, it's a long stretch of sand that will take you to the ocean. Because it's funny, when I used to live in Hawaii, they, they, were, they were saying that how, you know, oh, look at our beaches are so amazing. And they were nice. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with our beaches. However, we come from Southern California. We come from Orange County. We know beaches. And this is a beach. What Huntington Beach has, this is, a, I mean, this is lots of sand. I mean, there's the beaches in Hawaii seem like the, most of them were pretty narrow stretches, of, like, you know, like a little stretch of sand. And you're going, okay, that's fine. Yeah. But here, I mean, if you want a sandy beach, it's kind of hard to beat what the Huntington Beach has to offer. Yeah, and then obviously we're filming this in the winter, but in the summer, you know, the whole beach is just tons of people, you know, here for the day. And because the beach is so wide, you can just get so many people yeah. here. Yeah, and again, you have the boardwalk. You obviously have, you, I mean, actually on the boardwalk, you get people see like riding bikes, going on, like, like uh, skateboarding, uh, roller skating. Mm -hmm. And then also you have a lot of actual volleyball that's being played here mm -hmm. too. Yeah. And of course, there's this little thing called surfing that happens in Huntington. <laughs> yeah, you can see the surfers now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even on a winter day. Well, actually, for, for surfers, the winter is the It is. The, the swells are better. Yeah, yeah. The, the actual mm -hmm. wave formation is very, very nice. Yeah. So here we are, we're in the downtown area, like, you know, the areas immediately surrounding you know, that main street in Huntington Beach. And what's really cool about this area, is these houses here are super cute. Now you have a nice amount of variety, as Courtney loves, is variety. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. And now I will say that, like, so what we what I see here is that there's houses that are more original, like built way back in the day, and they're more like I don't want to say shacks, but they're just much smaller. But then the beach cottages. There you go. That's a great that's, way to put that's it. That's the more real estate term. Yes, that's true. it's very cozy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cozy kitchen. Yeah. yeah, and then what you do have is what people have done since then, because these lots are pretty small, like long. They're like long, narrow lots, and so what they do is that they demo these things. And they built over time, uh, you know, newer structures, of course, that are three stories to maximize pretty much all that space. So yeah. what you're going to get here is you're not going to get, if you're looking for a backyard, that's not what you're going to find here. What you're looking for here is that you, your, big, your backyard is the beach. It's right across from the beach. Really awesome location. Nice central location from that perspective. Mm -hmm. But again, backyard space, not a strong suit of this area. Yeah. And it is kind of funny. A lot of the homes in Huntington Beach, they have three stories. So you're kind of like going up and down stairs all the time. So. Yeah. I mean, again, it's a bit of a New York kind of feel to it, I yeah, guess. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like similar to a brownstone. Well, yeah. Well, well, land it when land is at a premium, like it is in downtown Huntington Beach, that is what you're going to deal with. People want to have enough living space. And these houses are good size, they're like, you know, 4,000 square feet. So they're not small. The ones that are like, have been built out. But again, they're they're maximizing all that land by just building to the very edges that they can. Yeah. So now that in downtown Huntington Beach, these houses that are on that you know very narrow plot of land, some of them are literally butting up against PCH, and they have spectacular ocean views. Yeah, you can see all the container ships. <laughs> yes, you can see all the <laughs> container ships, and it's really amazing. And it's funny because. 
PCH is a pretty busy road. Mm -hmm. And we've stayed at, you know, like we've visited houses that are on the beach and it's actually not, you don't really notice yeah, the Yeah, you don't really hear the, the noise. I think no. because if you, you know, if you have good windows. Well, yeah, if it's a newer house, you got the double pane windows, of course. They built it that way to obviously keep the insulation really strong so that way you, you can keep those ambient noises out, I guess. Yeah, for sure. And as we're driving in downtown Huntington, we just passed by this kind of cute little pocket. I've never like seen it before. Four homes that are yeah. more like Victorian style, I guess. Yeah, four Victorian. And newer homes, but Victorian style. Yeah, four Victorian style, almost kind of brownstones. It was very interesting. I've never seen yeah. anything like it. Really interesting. It almost seems like there's some pockets of Orange County that are older homes, you know, historical homes, like downtown Santa Ana or downtown Orange, and it kind of felt like that. It was I've never seen it before, so... It was surrounded by nothing like it. Yeah, surrounded by nothing like that. So it was a little strange. Yeah, I mean, we honestly come around here all the time. I've never seen those houses. This is the first, so. Now, Huntington Beach doesn't have a ton of gated communities, but one of them, that the, like which is Boardwalk, which is basically PCH and Golden West, that is one of the few uh, areas that actually are gated. Yeah, so if you do want a gated community in Huntington Beach, or honestly any beach community, um, you got to reach out to us so that you know our team can help you find exactly what you're looking for. So right now we're driving this neighborhood, Sea Cliff, which is people really like it a lot. Again, it's really close to the beach, really close to downtown, really close to downtown, and this development here is pretty huge. Actually, it's, got, it's one of the few. There's one of the few golf courses in all of Huntington Beach here because Huntington Beach just really doesn't offer much of that and you got all these houses you have townhomes you have condos so it's a nice mix of different properties and lot sizes aren't small too yeah it almost feels a little bit like suburbia in the middle of downtown Huntington Beach because you know how we were talking about how the homes close to to downtown there you don't have much of a lot right so yeah and here you actually have a house like with three car garages mm -hmm. pretty spread out not necessarily having to be the three story layout to maximize space these houses actually can kind of you know spread their wings a little bit kind of get comfortable and you have nice large lots here so that's it that's our video now if you find that home that you think is like amazing and you want to check out or want to possibly even move to either give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email or you can reach out to us via whatsapp however you want to get a hold of us we've got your back